Toyota's luxury car division is here in Milan to explore its El Finesse design philosophy. The El Finesse philosophy underpins the Lexus LFXH concept, which was shown at the Tokyo Motor Show last year, and is at the centre of the exhibit in Milan. Uh, El Finesse basically is uh, our interpretation of Lexus's value, or unique value, and uh, it's comprised of two words that we feel uh, define what Lexus has been in the past and what it should be in the future. Uh, we think that by using this uh, design philosophy it's going to allow us to make more dramatic and more dynamic cars but without relying just on exaggeration or uh, overemphasis and I think that's the value uh, of El Finesse. I think the future design is going to be the more leading edge type and at the same time the Finesse is a very kind of understated or is a very authentic and based on, again, the Japanese uh, sensor barrier. I think that's going to be the uh, suitable for the uh, future Lexus design. This is Oki Sato, who designed the exhibit for Lexus. What inspired your thinking? I was researching through diamonds, and I found out that the atomic structure, the crystal structure of diamonds, is what makes it solid and also uh, beautiful. So we, we thought about uh, making another structure, a new structure, which is flexible and also having the, the same uh, characteristics as the, the crystal structure. The pillars and the bubbles and the lamps were all handmade, and, but it was not possible to make the chairs by handmade, so uh, we thought about using the, the laser sintering uh, rapid prototyping technology, which is, usual, which is usually used for car industry. Uh, and the machine is all over the place, it's, it's everywhere in the world, so I can just send my data by email and then I can manufacture my chair wherever I like. So what do you learn from the collaborations with these artists that you've been doing in Milan for the last four years? A lot of the design of these guys are doing changes over time, you only have to look at the exhibition here today. Uh, it's not static, it's always changing and the way you see it today is going to be a little bit different to the way you see it tomorrow. So those type of hints we're incorporating and discussing with them and that's influencing the way that we look at our design.